So I'm only going to be talking about a few things today. First one is display problems with the HP Reverb headset, which launched on the 6th of May. The next thing is changing lighting frequency for the Rift, for the Rift S. And then on top of that, I've got a couple game releases we can end up talking about. All of those can be found in the timestamps in the description below. First things first, the HP Reverb was a massive breakout hit. As soon as it launched on the 6th, it sold out completely. Up until this point, we haven't had much news as far as when it would release, or well, when we would end up getting new stock available. However, HP has come out and said that major retailers, including their host site, hp.com, as well as Amazon and Best Buy should be seeing more inventory around July. As far as what else we can kind of worry about, you may need to maybe hold back on that because early adopters are already seeing display problems with that headset. While there is nothing set in stone as to what that problem is, the general idea on this Reddit thread that I'll be citing in the description below seems to seems to be citing a connection problem attached to the headset. There are a, a couple other ideas that they are floating around that would relate to a USB 3.0 versus 3.1 plug and plug and connection that you may be able to find on your computer. Now, as far as whether or not either of those are actually the case is up for debate because the original review that Road to VR did on the, v on the HP Reverb when it launched or before it launched, I guess, did not encounter those problems. So hopefully we can figure out what the actual cause is so it, it can be dealt with and hopefully attenuated in the next in the next production line, so to speak. So first things first, there might be a little bit of issue when you come when it comes to LED lighting in your play space when you're using the Oculus Rift S. There is an option for you to be able to change the room lighting frequency as it pertains to the headset in order to maximize the effect and effectiveness of the tracking. This list and set of steps that I'll be reading from is going to be in the description down below, so you'll be able to do that at your own leisure rather than, rather than dealing with tracking problems on this video. Okay, so first things first. Step one, you'll wanna launch the Oculus app from your desktop, What what, launch the Oculus app. Then you'll go to devices, it's like halfway down the list, and then you'll click on Oculus Rift S and touch for step three. In step four, you'll hit room lighting frequency. For step five, you'll click frequency option that best matches the frequency of the lighting and the VR space. So many, while the default setting is set at 60 you may have better luck setting it to 50 hertz rather than the default 60 so you know and then click OK to confirm if you're still having troubles you can try to adjust the brightness of the lights so that just may be able to maximize the effectiveness a little bit more after all that's said and done, you may have to restart the service just to be on the safe side. That way, all of the tracking systems can get reset in order to, well, they, they need to be able to reestablish themselves along these new settings. In order to do that, uh, first you need to click on the start button and click, for, click on the search option. Type services, enter in the keyboard, 
and you'll want to go to Oculus Runtime Service and restart that rather than going through and rather than trying to restart it internally through the Oculus system. So that's really about it. Pretty short, sweet, and to the point. So hopefully that'll end up fixing any tracking issues that may arise. But if they if it doesn't, I'm not really sure what to tell you. I'm not a tech guru. Next up, I do have to talk at least a little bit about the Sniper Elite virtual reality game that we can expect on all major consoles. So that'll include the PlayStation VR, the HTC Vive, the Valve Index, the Oculus Rift, and of course Windows Mixed Reality headsets. So regardless of which headset you typically use, you will be able to enjoy this game. One thing that PlayStation VR owners in particular can look forward to is aim controller support. Right now, there aren't a whole lot of games that support it. However, it'll, it will in include the ranks of Doom and Farpoint. However, one of the few things that d does need to get touched on is that while you won't necessarily be rooted to the spot, you will be using free movement using teleportation around Sicily and the Italian maps while also leaning a little bit on standard stealth tactics that you may have seen from the standard flat screen series. But of course, you'll, you'll still be able to enjoy all that sniping goodness on NVR. And on top of that, there will be an x-ray kill cam in virtual reality for the first time. So that is something to look forward to. The final story of the night is all about a child's play virtual reality experience that you'll be able to find compatible with Oculus, Gear, HTC headsets, Google Cardboard, and a couple video viewers of the, compatible with Facebook and YouTube on web and mobile. So the, what makes this a little bit different than most games is that not only is it going to be an on the rails experience, but a lot of it is going to be set in Zedmart, where Chucky is comfortable, but you obviously are not. Because it's an on the rails experience, you can expect quite a few jump scares, but nothing really, well, life threatening, I guess. So the bulk of it is unfortunately, while zombies and stuff aren't going to be attacking you, and neither is he for that matter, there is a little bit more that we can expect later on down the line as the developers do plan a bigger experience coming eventually. And there's an, also an version in the future where we take the entire Zedmart store and allow users to walk around and interact with each item, even a mischievous small doll trying to attack you. So while the while the version that just came out is going to be good, what we can expect in the future is going to be much better. If you guys are still here, don't forget to check out my next video when I'll be talking a little bit about the Epic Games Store. If you liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible human being for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.